Well, let me tell you something, Mean Gene. January 7th episode of Monday Night Raw, Dispatched. The show started with a brawl between Seth Rollins and Bobby Lashley that got separated, then John Cena came out announcing that he is entering the Royal Rumble match. Drew McIntyre interrupted, he said he will win the Royal Rumble and main event WrestleMania. Leo Rush came out saying that he and Bobby Lashley gonna lawyer up if no one stops Seth Rollins. Seth Rollins attacked Bobby Lashley, then Dean Ambrose attacked Rollins, then Finn Balor came out to even the odds as we got a tag team match, player. Seth Rollins pinned Dean Ambrose in the match, then asked for an Intercontinental Championship match tonight from Hunter, then Triple H agreed and made a false count anywhere match tonight. Hulk Hogan came out to pay tribute for Gene Okerlund. He said he came out in character because that's what Okerlund would have wanted. They showed a tribute video for Gene Okerlund that was awesome. Hogan said he could speak for the WWE Universe and superstars. They all loved Okerlund. Mean Gene wasn't there, but he was in Hulk Hogan's heart. Then Hogan said, let me tell you something, Mean Gene. He talked about Mean Gene being in heaven calling a tag team match between Randy Savage, Ultimate Warrior versus Roddy Piper and Mr. Perfect. And Andre the Giant would be the special guest referee. Also Mean Gene will stop a fight between his dear friends Gorilla Monsoon and Bobby Heenan and Gene could only choose between the fabulous Moolah and Mae Young. Then what you gonna do when Mean gene mania runs wild on you, brother? Chad Gable and Bobby Roode defeated The Revival to retain the tag team titles in the Lumberjack match. The match was good, but Scott Dawson's foot was under the ropes when he got pinned, so they're gonna get another title shot most probably next week. Elias sang a song, Baron Corbin interrupted, they had a match and Baron Corbin won. Brock Lesnar and Braun Strowman face to face wasn't face to face as Brock Lesnar with Paul Heyman were backstage talking to Braun. Heyman said he knows that they have spent a lot of money hyping this face to face, but Braun Strowman should know the words card subject to change. Braun forgot his line several times while he was doing his promo, but at the end he said Brock you're gonna get these hands. So Brock went out, he walked around the ring and left. This was really bad. Apollo Crews and Ember Moon defeated Jinder Mahal and Alicia Fox. Look at that. A moment of bliss with Ronda Rousey. Ronda didn't shake Alexa Bliss's hand and said there was one woman who had pushed everyone to their limits, has more talent in her pinky than Charlotte Flair in her whole body, has a more harrowing story than Becky Lynch, has more love for the business more than Ronda Rousey herself, and she was the unsung hero of Monday Night Raw. And that's Sasha Banks. Nia Jax came out asking for a rematch because, you know, Seth Rollins got his rematch, so she wants the same thing tonight. Then Sasha Banks came out and said, hey, what about me and you? We go in the ring tonight one on one and the winner gets Ronda Rousey. Nia didn't want to do it at first and she was very good at, you know, avoiding that and sitting on the chair. But after the commercial break, we got the match started and Sasha Banks defeated Nia Jax and she will face Ronda Rousey for the Raw Women's title at the Royal Rumble. A false count anywhere match between Dean Ambrose and Seth Rollins for the Intercontinental Championship. This was some good shit. They fought backstage, on the announcer's table, in the crowd, and Seth finally when he hit the stomp, we see Bobby Lashley pulling Seth Rollins out. He destroyed Seth Rollins, he did his finisher and then a spear. After that, Dean Ambrose pinned Seth Rollins to retain the Intercontinental Championship. After that, we see Bobby Lashley taking out the table with Leo Rush. He took on Seth Rollins and did a spine buster through the table. Take care guys.